Okay, I'm, I'm good for it. I'm good for the for the vlog. For the vlog. A bit of a, a short one this this week. Um, there's been quite a lot going on. It's been busy. I've been really enjoying getting back involved with the gym stuff, and you'll see me popping up in gym videos, Reasons Fitness vlog and stuff, which is really good fun. Um, and I guess I wanted to take this opportunity to to reach out. Anyone who's watching this, who's subscribed to me, thanks for being here. Uh, this is something that I've learned in the last few months. Being a business person, being an entrepreneur is a hard gig. It's tough. And the hard, challenging parts to it often take you by surprise. Often they're to do with other people that you're responsible for. Often they're to do with relationships that you have and 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 things that you've built that you are emotionally invested in that you then have to change. There's a lot of there's a lot of emotion involved when when you're a business owner, and um, I was very uh, sort of maybe naive to that side of things for a long time. But over the last year, I've really learned how important it is to be uh, emotionally aware in business and. Uh, Sitting here now, having gone through a pretty kind of challenging six months, feels really good. Um, but one thing that's kind of really, really stuck out recently is that people do talk. People don't tend to have a go at people who aren't doing anything. They're only ever interested in people that are actually doing something. Um, so I guess this video is a bit of a, a check-in, but it's also... If anyone is ever concerned, if you're watching this, you're ever concerned about what other people think about you and what they're saying, if you're in it and you're actually doing something which not many people are doing, you're going for it, you're taking life by the horns and you're doing your best, um, and people talk about you, that's a massive compliment. It doesn't matter what they're saying, it just goes to show that, well, two things. One, that they don't have much else going on, they are actually enjoying the fact that they're talking about somebody else, which... It's a bit sad, really. And two, that you're probably doing something right. Um, and as long as you keep believing in yourself, as long as you know the truth, which I know my truth, and I know what things mean to me, you'll be okay. And I guess that's it for, for this week. I just wanted to check in and, and um, give a little bit of a sort of behind the scenes insight into being a business owner. I know I'm not the only person that thinks like this, but a lot of business owners don't say it. They see it as a weakness. It is not a weakness. It is all part of becoming the best version of you as a business person and just generally as a person. The things that we learn along the way allow us to be even better at what we do. And nobody is perfect. Certainly not me. Nobody can please everyone, which is what I thought I was able to do, but it's just not possible. So be okay with it, be okay with it. And um, people who are shouting from the sidelines, whether it's good or bad, they are simply that. They are from the sidelines, they are not on the pitch. So therefore they do, know, they do not know what it really feels like because it's just not their world. They're observing, they're watching from the sidelines, that's it. And that's, that's in any form of life, really, I suppose, isn't it? If people are talking about you in your personal life, they're talking on the sidelines. It doesn't matter. Let it go as long as you know what the deal is, as long as you know the truth, and as long as you know how you feel and that you're applying self-awareness into the situation. That is all that matters.